Hello, dear friends, and welcome to Greece. Greece? Grice? One of those options. I have no clue about this game. So let's just go. All I know is that it looks like a side-scroller of sorts. A very artsy side-scroller. power of music. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. <gasps> oh no, she lost her voice. I like it. I like the sequence so far. I gotta say, it's very colorful. Lots of pinks and blues. Those are some fantastic colors. the yellow. But where are we falling? Looking very forlorn with the loss of our voice. Perhaps a little bit of movement shall stir us awake. Indeed. All right. And down the lonely road, the only one we've ever known. Ooh, I see there, uh, it's a little bit of background starting to form. Perhaps we are not simply a drawing on a paper. Oh, what are those? <laughs> I hope those are just, uh, <laughs> birds, creative birds. Oh no, I've fallen. All right, oh, here we go. Ooh, I gotta say, I really like the animation. It does look very, what's the word? I don't know, alive, springy? Like, it's got that good cartoon, like, reverb almost, where it's like every, everything has like a dramatic, Purpose, so to speak. I know it's not very descriptive, but it's like. It's really well drawn. Oops, I guess I kind of was just holding forward <laughs> without thinking. I'm trying to get my thought out. Turns out you cannot uh, let's play and walk at the same time. Ooh, 
This is like a destroyed. It almost looks like a um, like a government building in a way. The dome shape. We got some arches destroyed. What is this land? Is this our inner thought or our inner mind? Is this the fractures of our mind after losing our voice and losing our sense of self? Well, we gained a little spirit, friend. Oh, it moves like it's, um... Oh, excuse me. It almost moves like it's, like, um constellation or tracing a constellation you could say I think I want to go back I want to go up can I jump right here oh I can oh man what is that is that a moving wall I see its tiny little legs can I jump into that Oh, are they retreating to other parts of the... Oh, <laughs> oh don't be scared. I kind of need you. <laughs> Alright, so I can't jump on the rubble right here. I don't know if I need to, like, click or anything. I wouldn't imagine. I think I just need to keep moving forward until I get something... Oh, hey, a little another constellation friend. Hello. Welcome aboard. Starship Greece. Oh. So we need three of our friends. Very well. It looks like our last one is up there. I wonder... I cannot make it across. I can't make it over here. This is good. Oh man. This is an extreme leaning tower of Giza. Oh hey. Alright. Well, looks like we've got our slide. Right down to the pillar. And we've got our third star friend. Things are nice. Also, for recording purposes, I decided to uh, try this video out in 30 FPS since I didn't figure it would be too uh, too graphically intensive. Because <laughs> uh, it is interesting how long it takes to upload just like a 20 minute video to the um, to the Dropbox that me and DG share. So hopefully it'll be a little less intensive on that. Oh. Everything's turned red and pink. But I do wonder what that means. Have we restored? Well, we got an achievement unlocked red, so I guess we've returned red to the world for the time being. Do we perhaps have to restore all the colors? I guess we did fall through them as we were landing on this plane of existence. Red is an interesting place to start, though. That is the start, or like the traditional start of the rainbow. It also symbolizes anger and 
blood, I guess. If if you're like me and grew up in like a Christian household, <laughs> uh, there is a common activity where you'd associate colors with like different spiritual meanings from the Bible, like red is the blood of Christ and all that. Of course, I'm not here to like make any commentary about <laughs> my current religious uh, beliefs or lack thereof. Either or, don't get me, don't get me like wrong. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna state what I do or don't believe in. But as it were, red is certainly blood <laughs> where I come from. Uh, all right, so. Right, we have this... It almost looks like a vein of sorts. I know it's supposed to be a tree, but it certainly looks veiny. Which I'll try to keep in mind as we go further. Oh man, there's actually a lot of places we could go. Uh, You know, why don't I just go down here for now? See what's up. Oh, look at those red birds go. Um... I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> oh, I see. It almost looks like a, like a computer mouse. I do see that there are, uh, let's see, seven symbols, seven circles at the bottom here that I need to be wary of. Probably. Or maybe it's saying that I need to collect seven uh, constellations. Seven stars, <laughs> not seven whole constellations. Uh, that's a drop-off, but... I'm feeling trusting right now. All right. Wow, down the slope we go. Can I jump? Oh, I cannot. I guess I'm just watching. I'm along for the ride, as it were. Ah, look at that beautiful sunset. That's very nice. I gotta say, I enjoy gorgeous scenes like this, where there's a big contrast in colors, a stark contrast in our red fields to the bright horizon. Alright, here we are. The giant sun perched in the background. We shall continue forward. I gotta say, I do like this. Uh, this is a very cool image. I almost want to screenshot it, but I'm sure I can save it for a... <laughs> I can come back and look at it. It is very computer background worthy, though. Desktop background. Or a laptop, if that's your sort of thing. I used to be a laptop boy. Uh, even insofar as, like, less than a year ago. Laptops are kind of underrated. <laughs> Gris. So it is. <laughs> All right, well, we've seen the second title screen. I guess we should uh, get going. Uh-oh. And splat. <laughs> Why don't we go to the left? What is over here? Ooh. All right, so... We need three dots, I take it, if we're still doing the whole dot collection thing. The whole dipping dots situation going on. Well, that's just a floating rock with a 
small tree on it. I guess I'll just uh, pay no heed to it. Things are starting to look a little more polygonal now. Oh, it's kind of the same tree as before. It's so... I don't know. It looks more like a... <laughs> I don't know what type of chart that would be. <laughs> I want to call it a noodle chart, but that's definitely not right. Ooh, we got like some satellites going on here. We on Mars? That is the red planet. Ooh. Alright, this is a little too much. Oh no. Alright. Well, we survived the red storm. Is there something I can do here? So far, I've only been able to move and jump. Although I assume, ah, there we go. That's the reason for it. Just so that I can stay safe within its walls and not get blown back by the ferocious desert wind. And it is nice that they have those um, windmills out there to tell me when something's about to act. Oh, oh, okay, we made it. Can't deny I uh I tensed up a little bit. I puckered up. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, I didn't get my first PC until, uh, well, June last year. No, I wasn't June, it was more August, I think. Probably into July. But yeah, after my, like, third laptop exploded prematurely, I was like, ah, time to get something better, maybe. <laughs> something more long-lasting. That is the one downside to laptops, is that, boy, do they not last at all. Uh oh oh no yeah yeah ah don't send us back all right it's very worried that it might send us back but we're good we still have our star friend that's nice as I'll do a little bit of scouting before the red wind comes. So he definitely didn't need to pick up that star, friend. That star bit. <laughs> that Luma. All right. Friend? I would like you to do that, if you could. Perhaps. Uh, how do you... How do I get you? Okay. How did we do it before? Oh, maybe we needed two. Maybe that's why. I think it did it automatically, but we might need two. So we gotta go find somebody else. Hello, rock friends. Pay no heed to me. Ah, oh, there you are. Man, the piano player kind of goes crazy with it. <laughs> it feels very Castlevania-esque. Or maybe even like... Legend of Zelda. Hyrule Castle. After Ganondorf has taken it over in Ocarina of Time. All right. Excellent. All right, I think we've made it out of the sandstorm. Oh, uh, well, maybe not. We got like one more area. All right, just kidding. Well, we are in here at least. Oh, all right, um, huh.
Well. Can't say this was entirely expected. But I guess it's a big rock for it, huh? Alright, and he parks himself right here. And uh, next time, we'll go explore more red. <laughs> See you then on Hookie Hour. Bye.